The Massasauga is the only rattlesnake species left in Ontario. This is a pygmy rattlesnake species, with adults reaching only 50 to 75 centimeters in length. This thick-bodied snake has a ground color that ranges from gray to brown, with saddle or butterfly-shaped darker blotches along the back, and two or three rows of smaller blotches along each side of the body. The belly is black and irregularly patterned with lighter markings. The Massasauga scales are keeled. This means that a ridge runs along the center of each and can give the snake a rough appearance. The head is distinct from the neck and appears triangular when viewed from above. There are three dark stripes running along each side of the Massasauga's head. Unlike any other snake species in Ontario, the Massasauga has a vertical, cat-like pupil and segmented rattle at the end of its tail. However, the rattle can break off, so never rely solely on the presence of a rattle when identifying this species. Baby Massasaugas are much lighter in color, but are boldly patterned like adults, and the rattle is represented by only a single segment. Fangs and venom glands are present and functional at birth. Some Ontario snake species can be confused with the Massasauga. However, all other species possess a round pupil, do not have a heat sensitive pit between the eye and nostril, nor a segmented rattle on the tail, though some non venomous species may vibrate their tail when alarmed. The Massasauga's range in Ontario has decreased dramatically in recent years and is now represented by two distinct populations the Carolinian population in southern Ontario, and the population further north along the shores of Lake Huron, referred to as either the Georgian Bay or Great Lakes St. Lawrence population. Despite being a venomous species, the Massasauga is usually mild-mannered. Bites almost always arise from carelessness and ignorance. These snakes usually remain motionless when approached, and most people are completely unaware of their presence. If harassed, the snake signals its presence by rattling, if a rattle is present, or it will retreat to nearby cover. The Massasauga bites only as a last resort, and so all bites can be avoided and is never the snake's fault. It uses its heat-sensitive pits to detect and venomous bite to subdue its prey, usually voles, mice, and shrews. However, non-mammalian prey such as other snakes, frogs, birds, and insects are occasionally taken, especially by younger Massasaugas. This species gives birth to live young, between 5 and 20 babies. The babies mature into sexually reproductive adults at 3 to 4 years of age. While maximum longevity in the wild is unknown, captive Massasaugas have lived to be over 20 years of age. Throughout its range in Ontario, the Massasauga is rarely found more than 50 kilometers from the Great Lakes. It occupies a wide range of habitats, including shoreline habitats, damp lowlands, rocky outcrops, as well as forests, fields, and meadows. The species at risk in Ontario list designates the Massasauga as threatened whereas the Carolinian and Great Lakes St. Lawrence populations are listed respectively as endangered and threatened under the Federal Species at Risk Act. Habitat destruction and degradation have significantly impacted Massasauga abundance throughout much of its historical range in Ontario. As natural habitat is destroyed for agricultural, residential, and industrial development, Massasauga populations quickly decline. As habitat is further altered by the ever-growing road network throughout the snake's range, road mortality has become a leading cause of decline. As snakes cross these roads or stop to bask in the sun, they are often hit and killed by drivers, many times intentionally. Massasaugas are incessantly persecuted by people. They are frequently and indiscriminately killed on sight due to ignorance and fear. While a bite from this species is medically significant, they most often occur when people attempt to handle, kill, or otherwise harass the snake. A little common sense will prevent all bites. Although medical attention is always warranted in the event of a bite, serious complications and fatalities are extremely rare. There are many ways that you can help the Massasauga in Ontario. Watch for traffic signs that indicate snake habitat. These signs are placed in areas where snakes are frequently seen crossing the road or using it to bask in the sun. Always be mindful of what's on the road, especially during the warmer months. Wear proper shoes when hiking in the Massasauga's range and always watch where you step. In the rare event that you do come across a rattlesnake, simply leave it some space and continue on your way. Tread softly and avoid recreation, such as ATVing, in Massasauga habitat, and be aware of what you leave behind. The Massasauga lives in a fragile ecosystem, but if we all do our part as good stewards of the land, rattlesnakes and humans can coexist peacefully. Perhaps the best way to help the Massasauga is to educate others about them. These snakes are so often killed simply due to ignorance. Explain to people that no snake should ever be killed out of fear. Tell others that Massasaugas are deserving of our respect. 
and emphasize that they play an extremely important role in our ecosystem due to their rodent eating habits. Get involved in conservation initiatives by contacting organizations working with these rattlesnakes in the wild. A good place to start is by visiting municipal conservation authorities and provincial or federal parks to inquire about the Massasauga. If you live in or visit areas where Massasaugas occur, you have a chance to do your part in ensuring that this beautiful and misunderstood animal is not forever silenced in Ontario.